All right, this week's breakdown, between your legs float pull up. All right, let's break that down. All right, so between the legs float pull up. This is a great move, a lot of players use it, but there's a lot of details in it. So what we're gonna do is, you're gonna go between the legs and then you're gonna push off your front foot. Okay, so if I'm going to the right, the ball's in my left. Between the legs and you're gonna skip off that right foot and then hit left, right. Okay, now, if you notice, what position am I in? I'm in the drop position, right? That's why that was week number one of this series because this is the foundation. We've done the drop multiple times throughout this entire series, okay? So again, let's look at it one more time. You're here, step, skip, left, right, you're in a drop, and now you evaluate. So what is important with this is why we call it a float is because when you go between the legs, you're gonna float the ball. So you see how there's that hesitation here and I skip, the ball's floating. So why is it floating? Because we want to be able to see the floor, okay? In this case, I'm pulling up, but if I don't want to pull up because it's floated and I'm not going like this, I have options. So if I didn't want the pull up, I could do that and I could drive. If I didn't want the pull up and maybe I had a counter, I could go here and counter. Okay, so details in this is the float and your chest. Make sure your chest is open. You don't wanna be here, right? Because then you're, it's gonna take you longer to get into that shot. If your chest is open, you're here and you have options. Again, you could bring this foot up, counter and go. You could drop and go, or you could get here and bring that right foot up into your shooting stance and shoot it. So.